Hello my beautiful, beautiful Raising Wellness tribe and welcome to our June tarot card reading here on the Raising Wellness channel. I am feeling very excited, very motivated now that we are moving into this Gemini season and about almost to Cancerian season, my season of in the later June and July. So I hope that you guys are feeling this spring summer shift, allowing yourself to shed old layers and step into this new motivating airy energy of Gemini. So let us jump into our June tarot card reading, but before we do that, if you guys have been liking these tarot cards readings, if you have been finding value in them, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below so that I know to make more of these videos for you guys and so we can grow this Raising Wellness community and collective here online. So for the tarot card readings, I usually pull from two decks, but I'm really feeling just pulling from the Sacred Rebel stick. And as always, the decks are linked down below if you want to play with them yourself, if you want to have the card tangible for this month right in front of you, I urge you to do that with the link down in the description box below. So we are just going to pull from the Sacred Rebels deck. That is our deck of where we get a lot of that juicy information from, and I love this deck because it tunes into the rebel within. It tunes into in, into cultivating and to bringing about and manifesting, bringing into this reality that true inner self. And a lot of times it's rebellious. You know, a lot of times that true inner you is something that's so much different than what is in the world already because you are here to bring that authentic, that sacred, that rebellious spirit of your own to the world. So this deck right here truly helps us to tap into that and, and learn how we can bring it out into the world with confidence and clarity. So I love this deck. Like I said, it's linked in the description box down below and we're just going to pull from this deck today. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards here and see what they have to say for us for the month of June 2019 for the Raising Wellness Collective. Thinking about all of you guys here on the YouTube channel, all 700 plus of you. Thinking about all of you who partake in the Facebook group. All of you who are a part of my Instagram and the Instagram stories that I post for you guys. I'm just thinking about all of you souls out there that tune in, that resonate with this channel. What is it that we all collectively need to see and hear for this month of June 2019? to do many things quite differently this month so I've shuffled the deck in a different way I'm only pulling from one deck instead of two so there's this big shift that's happening in my life and and in a lot of the lives of the people that are around me right now with the meditation groups that I lead the, the nannying jobs that I do the other work that I do there's a lot of transition and change happening right now So we're going to see what this different reading brings to us. Going beyond normal is our card for this month. It's a really awesome card. There's a lot of detail in this card with timing and buttons and gold, a lot of gold, light bulbs, the element of looking up, and our number here is number 14, 
So add those together, numerology number five. Five has been popping up a lot for me this month as well too. So let's see what this very, it seems very abundant, this card. Very abundant in buttons and gold and there's pearls in here and this element of looking up and time. So going beyond normal. Let's find out what this card means. So tuning into this card here. Again, like I said, we have the number 14 here, add four plus one, and you get a five. And the number five, seeing five, 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 having the numbers five surround you in your life, maybe when you look at a clock or when you see it on a card like this, or maybe when you're pumping gas, you purchase $5.55 of gas. Those numbers are popping up because the universe is telling us that they're is change and a shift that is occurring. Just want to make sure I'm in focus here. There we go. Um, there's a change and a shift that's occurring in your life right now. And with the elements that we discussed a lot in the May, new, and full moon, there's this really big push right now for us to trust in the mystery, to not be led so much by logic and planning, but instead from that intuitive space, from that, that heart space, and to really trust in the mystery and, and be okay with the changes and the shifts that are occurring around us. This card and the energy of this past month is really about stepping into that mystery and not only stepping into it, but trusting that the mystery is helping you move into the place in your life that you want to be. That mystery is, is here to guide you and allow you to create in a different way. So there, there might be a death of conditioned mindsets, you know, of you need to plan out this part of your life and organize this part of your life and set these goals and do these things to reach that goal and being very rigid, you know, in, in that space of your life rather, and it, this card really wants you to have that logic and have that rational mind, but use it in a way that's cultivating the truths of your heart. And to find confidence in, in the fact that you will be provided for when you do that. It's really wanting you to find the confidence and trust and faith in stepping into the mystery and stepping into being guided by your intuition, being guided by those heart impulses, those things that really are drawing you right now that maybe you're holding yourself back from. And I'm also looking at this card and there is actually money all throughout this card that I didn't notice before. It blended in with the buttons and there's a lot of heads up pennies in here. So for me, that symbolizes good luck, um, messages and guidance from angels. I actually used to collect heads up pennies when I was younger before I even knew anything about lucky pennies or anything about the folklore around them or superstitions around them, I always was like, oh, there's a lucky penny. That's a, a kiss from an angel or kiss from God and just a, a symbol of we've got you. You're okay. And, and with this card and this message, it's really wanting to tell you to let go of those things that are maybe you are rigidly holding on to that you no longer feel connected with and you're just doing them because they fit that status quo or they they look like what you're supposed to do. This card is really about being that fringe dweller, living in an eccentric way, uh, being okay with living in that fringe area where maybe it's, it's very creative and very artistic and just like all art it has a plan, it, it has um, an idea, but there's no specific way of, of getting to that plan. Sure, you have um, 
like if you're painting an art piece, you have the techniques, you have the paint, you have the brushes, you have the idea in your mind, but you're not gonna start on this part of the painting so that you can move to this part. You're gonna let that creative flow kind of guide you while you're doing it. So this is really about stepping into the mystery and letting your surroundings and the synchronicities and your faith in knowing that you are being guided and held to um, to move you forward, to move you through and allow yourself to just be changed and transformed by stepping into the mystery, stepping into that confidence and faith to be in the mystery, to be that fringe dwelling creature, finding that, that freedom to live your fullest expression and I absolutely love this card, you guys. I'm so excited that we pulled this card. I'm not sure that we have pulled this card before. If we have and you remember it, let me know and write it down in the comments down below. And with all of that information being said, I want you guys right now, here and now, with this information in your head, create an affirmation for yourself and put it down in the comments down below. I want to see what you come up with and help you cultivate an affirmation that's going to help you step into this, help you step into that mystery with confidence and faith and trust. And I always usually pull an affirmation card from the Universe Has Your Back deck, but I want this to be a co-creative space and to help you put on that creative cap here and now by creating an affirmation for yourself, for that true rebel, rebellious, fringe dwelling, intuitive, emotional, creative heart of yours. So with all this information being said, what is your affirmation for this month? Put it down in the comments down below. I can't wait to hear what you guys come up with, what uh, what it is you're, you're stepping into, what it is you're ready to release from that rigidity, that rigid space, and step into this more fluid and creative space. I really can't wait to hear from you guys, and I hope that this card resonated with you. And and if it didn't, know that there is this energy around you right now where there's going to be a letting go, a, a shifting of your mindset patterns you know, those rigid spaces. So just be on the lookout for those things. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for being here, for tuning in to these monthly collective tarot card readings. And I can't wait to see you in our new moon for June video and meditation. I am sending you guys so much love and I have also left a link down in the description box below for my most recent meditation that I've put up for you guys. It may help you um, get a little bit more clarity about this card for June as well. So hopefully you can tap into that meditation. It's linked in the description box below and I will see you in the next video.